Hey, that's and this is welcome to Big Dad Podcast, episode 19. I'm your host, Aaron Lages, and as always, we will talk about market of NFT wake landing, NFT sales, news about cryptocurrencies, and NFTs. So without further ado, let's dive into all the happenings of the week. NFT wake landing volume is on the rise once more. Compared to the previous week, it is a 37% increase with $207 million volume, and NFT sales are also on the rise with it. NFT sales saw an amazing 66% increase in volume, according to NFT Go data, and reached $138 million. Of course, this high volume is caused by Blue Token airdrops, which I will talk about more in the podcast. For crypto market, we are still in the same area. Bitcoin and Ethereum are respectively around $37,000 and $2,000. A steady market can be good and for the most of the time, a rising market comes after that. As we mentioned in the previous podcast, we passed some important milestones and resistances in both the crypto and the NFT market. So, Holding on to some supporting levels is required before bouncing up. But of course, no one can be sure. So if you are flipping NFTs, leveraging in crypto, or just investing, always do your own research. Now, let's get into some news because some shocking news happened. Junkbank Zhao, aka ZZ, is no longer CEO of Binance. Many people believe Binance is ZZ actually. So it is hard to believe, but this is crypto, the place of unexpected events. On top of that, Binance has agreed to pay a massive $4.3 billion in fines and restitution. This comes after the former CEO of Binance, Junkbank Zhao, pleaded guilty to willfully violating the Bank Security Act. This is a culmination of investigations into Binance that began as far back as 2018. Zhao's agreement to step down from his role marks a pivotal moment in the crypto industry's history. From now on, Richard Tang is the CEO of Binance and an experienced executive with over three decades of financial services and regulatory experience. Richard joined Binance in August 2021 as CEO of Binance Singapore. Moreover, the crackdown extends beyond Binance. The SEC has also filed a lawsuit against Kraken, another prominent crypto exchange. The allegations against Kraken involve the mishandling of customer assets, creating significant risks. Kraken CEO David Ripley has denied these allegations. Additionally, Coinbase, a rival exchange, is also facing a lawsuit from the SEC. Even with this news, the market generally holds strong, so it can be a signal of rebounding. A near record has broken in Bitcoin. Not in the price, not yet, but in the fees. In a remarkable event in the history of Bitcoin, a transaction fee of $3.1 million was paid for a single Bitcoin transfer, setting a record for largest transaction fee in the cryptocurrency's 14-year history. This transfer was mined by Antpool in block 818087 along with the standard reward of 6.25 Bitcoin, Antpool received an additional around 85 Bitcoin in fees for all transactions included in the block. Notably, the Sanders wallet was established only minutes before making this transfer. The transaction it itself was significant, with the recipients receiving around 55 Bitcoin out of the original 139 Bitcoin cent. This instance stands out against the backdrop of Bitcoin transaction fees, which have seen an increase recently, partly due to heightened activity around Bitcoin-based NFT projects like Ordinals. However, this specific instance appears to be a result of an individual error rather than a broader market trend. Scams are everywhere, and everyone should be cautious. This time, they pretend to be Forbes. A Board Ape Yacht Club NFT owner known as Crumbs 
not only awaited a scam orchestrated by individuals posing as Forbes journalists. The scammer targeted board the Yacht Club holders, offering them an opportunity to be interviewed for Forbes. In this incident, the scammer, using a fake account, impersonated Robert Lefanco, a real editor at Forbes, and reached out to Crumbs. During the, the spouse interview, Crumbs was asked to enable a feature to record the conversation. Despite noticing red flags, such as the use of a non-premium Zoom account and the request to use a separate recorder bot, Crumbs complied. The scammer then asked Crumbs to fetch a banana, supposedly to say something that resembled his hey ape. Crumbs later realized this request was a ruse to distract him from his computer, during which time the scammer intended to take control of his computer and steal his assets. Fortunately, Crumbs chose to stay by his computer and noticed the scammers attempting to control his screen, which he promptly stopped when they navigated to a suspicious website. So here you have it, last analysis all the happenings of the week. We are preparing exciting things for the upcoming weeks since we are getting closer to the end of the year. So keep following us on Twitter or X, Telegram and join our Discord. Be part of the community and shape the next step of NFT backlanding together. See you soon.